What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Dapper here, and we are back playing some more Derail Valley, picking right up where we left off. Uh, my train's over there somewhere, uh, but I've been looking at the table here, deciding what I'm going to accept, and there's a lot of things uh, per usual that I can't accept that just require too much, so that goes in the trash. Uh, I think I found these two missions, though, that I can accept at once, but there is a problem here. We're looking at a 432-ton weight on this one haul, which means... Uh, if I put these two together, I'm going to need two trains to do this. So I think that's going to be the plan today. Uh, first things first, though, of course, let's pay off the fees, as always. Uh, let's get my wallet out right here. There we go. We got $30,000, uh, but no longer because we are going to be paying that. And we're also going to pay this as well. Uh, I still need to get manual servicing, but um, I want to save up a little more cash before I drop that on there. But anyway, uh, the plan today is to run these two loads... Uh, with two trains, one in the front, one in the back is what I'm thinking, and I'm going to be remote accessing the back one uh, to help me along the way. So let's go ahead and grab these two, and let's go find the trains that we need to grab. Okay, so I found one. Uh, we have the uh, HBFH07 line sitting right here. Uh, my train's right there, so all I have to do is pull forward and back up to grab it, but uh, I need to check where the other one is as well i need to make sure this is on the back because we're gonna be dropping this off first so let's go find that as well all right so i found it uh it's a little bit uh a little bit of a ways away uh the train is over there but that's fine i can just go ahead and pull that back or pull that out and then back up along this line here and uh grab that so let's go ahead and grab the first one that we're already right next to and get that linked up all right, so here is the train we left off on. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this real quick. Grab that. Go ahead and switch the switches there. All right, time to hop in and get this thing started up. One, two, three. Engines start. Let's go ahead and release that brake. We'll go ahead and put it in forward and give it some gas. So yeah, this should be pretty cool. I've never used, uh, well I have. I, ha I brought a second engine to the rescue, but I've never used two engines from the start before. Uh, hopefully we don't wrap up, wrap, rack up too many insurance fees doing that. But anyway, um, we are fine right now. I'm gonna be going to this switch here and then I'm gonna have to get that switched over so that we can go down that line and pick up the cars that we need. So I think I can kill the throttle here, get ready for the brake. Uh, the switch is right here. I think we're passing it. So I can go ahead and do that. Now, let's get the comms radio out. And let's get this flipped over. There we go. And time to back it up. There we go. We're moving. Uh, we're moving a little bit quickly. Might bring that down just a little bit. Uh, but we are headed backwards to pick up these cars here, which should be perfect. Now, I don't know where I'm getting the other engine. I just assume there's another one sitting right over there. There usually is, so hopefully we can grab that before we leave. Uh, I am going to coast this in from here. Don't want to smash out my windows. That's never fun. Uh, but we are moving in to pick this up now, and I'm probably going to hit the brake here when we get a little closer, because I feel like we're going a little bit quickly. Uh, but anyway... Uh, just waiting for the distance to kind of close in a bit. All right, there we go. I think I can start applying the brake now. Maybe it's still a little hard. Oh, that should be perfect, actually. All right, there we go. Uh, let's get this bad boy connected up. Do the connecting procedure here. Make sure we got some brakes on that. There we go. And uh, we're all set. So we have load number one which is full of scrap metal, I see. That's kind of cool. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and put this into forward and give it some throttle here. And we are now moving. All right, so we gotta go a little bit of a ways. We gotta go all the way up onto the main line before we can back up and get all the way over there. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of cruise a little bit here. These are really cool. <clears throat> I would love to actually haul like cars that are in these. That would be super awesome. <laughs> Hopefully one of these future runs we can do something cool like that. I was really excited about the excavators, but we didn't get to move them very far, so it wasn't too much fun, you know? Uh, we only had to pull them over there to, like, that line and unload them, so... But yeah, I definitely want to start pulling some cooler stuff. That is for sure. Maybe we'll get our hazmat soon. 
I know those can be dangerous, but that'd be kind of fun. Uh, but anyway, we are schmoovin' right now. Main line is way over there, so we're just gonna have to go for a little bit before we connect up. And I do wanna see if that extra engine that we're gonna need is over here. I think it's sitting like right here out in the open. If not, okay, yeah, there it is. Um, interesting. Wait a minute. So that's gonna be backwards. Um, okay, never mind. I've got an idea of how to flip that over. We've got like a triangle that we can use just over there. And I think I want to pull the whole train beyond that, pull that out, back it up, go down the triangle, and then go forward to straighten it out. That's going to be interesting. Because um, I definitely don't want it pushing backwards, otherwise our back engine might overheat. That's what I was told in the comments section anyway. Um, that if uh, the train's going backwards, it tends to overheat more. Speaking of which, I'm going to turn on the fan. I've had mixed people tell me about the fan. Some say it works, some say it doesn't. Or it's not implemented yet. But anyway, let's go ahead and get these brakes on. I think I just need to do these, actually. It would help if I had the engine turned off beforehand. But anyway, that's fine. We are now backing up. Um, one thing I definitely need to do is run over here and make sure all the switches are good. So that's going the right way. Uh, but this is not. So let's get over here and flip this over. All right, those are good now. Now I need this this line I think it's this one right here flipped over and is this 81 it is indeed all right perfect we're just waiting on the train to make it over here now so I'm gonna run back and jump into that it is cruising pretty quickly to be honest oh but that should be fine um might kill the throttle here in a second and then as soon as we get closer, obviously I'm going to hit the brakes a little bit. That's so cool seeing the cars kind of bounce around a little bit back there. I definitely like that a lot. Um, so it's going to start to hook over. Hopefully there it goes. Perfect. And we need to go down that line right there. All those lines look the same, honestly, from here. Um, hopefully I'm not going too fast when I bump into it, though. So it's kind of hard to see. If I hang my head out the window. I need to know when to apply these brakes. I'm just going to give it a little bit now because I feel like we're coming in like pretty heavy. I don't know how we damaged a rail car last time, but this is probably how we did it. Smacking into it a little bit too hard. Uh, so that looks pretty good actually. That's a nice speed. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop out and wait for it to hit. Oh, it's going to stop completely, is it? Okay, never mind. Let's hop back in the cabin and give it a little gas. Oh yeah, we have a ways to go. Darn it. <laughs> See, this is where the remote comes in handy, I think. Let's go ahead and hop in and use our remote. We got power, pair. All right, perfect. Let's run over here and give it a little extra throttle. And I will stop it in just a second. There we go. Coasting in at a nice little speed here. Hopefully that's not too fast. Uh, I guess we'll know if my windows blow out in the train at the end. <laughs> oh, um, I just thought of this. I'm not going to be able to pull this at all, I don't think. Interesting. And you know what? It's fine. We'll figure it out after this. Okay, so the, this train has a 400 weight limit. Um, and we are about to very much exceed that. So. What was that beeping? Was that beeping telling me it was too hard? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here, before it rolls away. Let's link that up. And we'll also link the brakes up. There we go. Okay, we're all hooked up. I don't think I'm going to be able to move, though. That's going to be a problem. All right. Well, hopefully I can get that other uh, engine over here. Let's see. Can we do it? Oh, we're doing it. Maybe because we're on flat ground, I can actually do it. That's kind of cool. All right. Let's kick it up a notch. 
Nice. This is gonna overheat our engine real quick. It's gonna be great. <laughs> um. Yeah, it takes a while, but we're starting to pick up some speed here. That's not bad. That's not bad. We're pulling like 600 tons right now. I think. What was it again? Uh, this was like 290. Oh my gosh, more than 600. Yeah. Yeah, almost, almost uh, like 710 or something like that. That's crazy. That's a lot. Maybe 720. That is a lot of tonnage, and we are pulling it. The, that's kind of crazy. That's nice. All right, so I'm assuming we obviously can't pull this the whole way. Like, there's no way. Unless we're going downhill the whole way, which I'll probably just be on the brakes most of the time. But no, I, I definitely need to go grab that other engine. I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to get stuck on a hill out here. I'm pretty sure we need to go uphill to leave here, so. All right, so same plan. I'm going to pull this all... Is for, well, I'm going to pull this all the way around that corner up there. Hopefully I can still turn in these missions. I don't know how far I can leave with these. I know one time like I tried to leave and it didn't let me and one of them disappeared. I don't know, weird stuff happened. Uh, but hopefully I can turn in these missions here and I'm not like wasting my time right now. But anyway, um, I am gonna try to get set up here. So here's the triangle I need to use. So that's in order to turn that engine around. That's the best way I can think of to do that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I just need to pull in front of this line here, and that'll help me get that engine forward. So there she is. That's what we're going to be using to push on the back end. Um, I suppose I could have it up front too, but I'm not sure if there's uh, really a point to that. Since I can't connect the engines anyway, I'm going to be using the remote control. I don't know, I suppose it pushing on the back end could maybe derail some cars in the middle. I don't know, we're just gonna do it this way, it's fine. We will uh, figure that all out later as we are on the road and whatnot. I say road, but I mean, uh, you know, rail, railroad. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so we are almost there. So as soon as this passes, I'm going to go grab that second engine right there. Or I suppose I could just grab this one right here. Yeah, that seems like a lot more work than just pulling that one out. Okay, that's fine. We're, we're just going to go in front of this switch now. <laughs> I kind of forgot about this little uh, section right here. This is a very long train. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. I am excited to do this. Uh, I don't think I need throttle anymore. I think I can just coast for a while. We do need to bring this pretty far up. All right, just making our way around the curve right now. Um, there's our switch. How many more cars do we have to go? Oh, it looks like that's the end right there. I'm pretty sure I can totally start breaking now yeah that'll do just fine we'll go ahead and do that and then I can take that off now we are all set up to go I'm actually gonna turn the engine off too that way it'll save me a little bit on insurance right uh, anyway let's go grab our second engine now uh, is that the switching station right here there it is okay cool uh so i just need to do this all right so we are pulling it forward i'm gonna get on the uh little switcher here and then i'll go ahead and stop it and we'll switch it over to get it on the the track line there uh apparently we can't coast very far that's fine let's go ahead and give it a little bit of throttle that's a lot of it actually all right that should be good right Perfect. We'll get this switched over really quick. It's really hard to see. There we go. That's actually perfect. Excellent. Okay. Time to pull it forward and link it up to our train here. 
So here we go. Almost set up to do this. As soon as I get this train hooked up, I'm going to run over and turn in these missions. Or start them, actually. I'm going to go to the job validator and validate both jobs. Uh, and hopefully we can start this run, which is going to be kind of crazy. we got a really long train here, which is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and kill the throttle there. Coming in pretty hot here. Definitely need to hit the brakes here in a second. Wait till I get a little bit closer. And we'll go ahead and start doing that. Alright, hopefully that is slow enough. There we go. Nice gentle bump. That's what I like to see. Alright, here we go. We will link this up. There. Oop. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? There we go. All right, so we are completely linked up. Look at this. We can barely see the other engine. I mean, I mean, we could totally see it. It's right there. But like, look at this. It's so far. There are so many rail cars in between here and there. This is going to be awesome. Um, let's go ahead and run over and see if I can accept these jobs before leaving this zone. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Run over to the station here. Pull out the jobs. I'm going to do this one first. Here we go. And let's go ahead and put that one in. There it is. All right. We are now getting underway. I'm going to run over. Oh, I completely forgot to link up to the back engine. So let's do that really quick. Uh, let's get in here. And we will pull out the remote. All right. So we are now linked with the back. Let's run over to the front. So I'm pretty sure I can control the brakes from here, right? That's how it works. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Okay. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I can control all the brakes from here, but I think the back, um, I have to control the throttle. Because they're all linked up, right? So yeah, I can give the back one throttle. What? What does that mean? Oh, was I wheel slipping or something? I'm not really sure what happened there. Wait, what? I think I'm getting some wheel slip back there. Let's go ahead and bring that down. All right, well, this is perfect. I can control both trains from here. Can I just put this, like, right here? That'd be so... No, that's not what I want to do. Um, what button is it? It's this one here. Oh, no way. I got all my controls right here. This is perfect. All right, so we are underway. All right, I'm hoping nothing bad happens here. Uh, this is uh, probably one of the more sketchy things I've done. Okay. Um, I did this completely wrong. This whole time, I thought we were at Food and Factory. Okay, so I thought I was going to mess up somewhere. Anyway. <laughs> um... So I have this linked up the wrong way. We're going to be going to Steel Mill first. Which means... This is the first load I need to drop off. So that's going to complicate things a little bit. <laughs> and I'm still going to need the second engine to go to Food and Goods and Factory Town. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. Anyway, <laughs> I guess we will figure this out along the way. Let's go get these. Yeah, that's 432 tons. Interesting. All right. Well, unfortunate. Uh, hopefully, we can still make the time bonus on this one. We are not moving, like, at all. Let's go ahead and give the back. Oops. Let's go that way. Getting some wheel slip. Okay, this is going to be more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Um, we're stuck. <laughs> we're, uh, we're stuck. My battery's already draining, too. Okay, well. I bit off more than I can chew. What have I done? Alright, so that's a big, that's a big fail.
That is a big fail. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm going to let these trains roll back. That's what we're going to do. Um, actually, I'm just going to apply the brake here. I'm going to turn off the power for that. Actually, let's turn that back on. Never mind. Turn off the power for that. Let's run to the back train real quick. Up the mountain, apparently. Onto the water. It's fine. We're here. I'm turning this off. And then I am now going to... Disconnect this. We are going to come back for the other load later. <laughs> oh, man. What a fail. What a fail. It's fine. Um, at least, at least we're gonna get at least one job done, hopefully, uh, as far as the bonus goes. Um, oops. I don't even know if I can go on the hill here, but let's take this back. That's fine now. Let's turn that up. I probably should have backed up more, huh? All brakes are off. Can we do it? Oh, we're we're struggling here. We are definitely struggling. Okay. I think we're finally getting up and going. We're getting a little speed here. Um, yeah, this so far is a disaster. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I still need the sand to get up this hill, but we are making it, so that is good. Uh, my engine's probably gonna explode soon, but it's fine. Hopefully, we can still get the time bonus by making it to the steel mill first. I would have preferred the time bonus on the other one, to be honest, but... Um, there's just no way that I could unhook and uh, rehook everything up. So, this is it. We are going to be running this load here. And uh, hopefully it all works out. <laughs> Alright, can I take the sander off yet? No. I, I, I have to use so much sand to get up this hill. It's not even funny. Our sand is almost halfway. Because we are struggling. And there's the engine telling me that I need to uh, take it easy. But I can't because I'm on a crazy hill right now. And I need to keep this momentum going. Otherwise, we're going to roll back down, which is going to be bad. So, uh, I guess we'll just keep an eye on this and make sure it doesn't hit the red. I don't know how much further this uh, this climb goes, but so far, it's uh, it's not been good. It's not been very kind to us. Uh, we kind of messed up a little bit. Still wants all my sand. Okay. All right, I guess. I guess you can have it all, train. Um... I'm hoping this is set for the way we need to go. Alright, please level out, like, right here, right? Like, it's got to. Yeah, okay, we definitely do. Right, time to turn the sander off. We're going to get a little bit of wheel slip, but it's fine. We're about to be on flat ground. There, it's kind of going away, and it's gone. Excellent. Okay, we are finally making it. That was looking pretty bad for a while, and I need to give the engine a break now that uh, we are on flat ground. So that kind of worked out perfectly. Hopefully the engine can uh, unheat itself. And let's check out this map here. We got a little bit of a ways to go. Uh, so far, not good. So far, not good. We are headed downhill now, though. That's uh, that's a kind of a plus. Oh, wait, never mind. That's uh, that's out of light. That's not, that's an uphill. That's an uphill, so I'm going to have to use a little bit of an engine. I'm sorry. Please don't explode. <laughs> Alright, we, uh, the journey continues. We continue making our way to the steel mill. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to teleport back. Um, pull it back. Grab that engine. Put it on the front. Oh, no, I'm still going to need two engines out here. So maybe I'll teleport back, grab another engine, and then just go up behind and push it. Because it's 432 tons, and I'm pretty sure the uh, the max on this is 400. Oh, come on. Let's give it a little bit of sand here. 
We gotta go a little bit faster than 20. Yeah, this thing isn't too good on hills, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, really feeling the lack of power here. Wish I had a better engine, but I also cannot afford another engine. So this is gonna have to do for now. Can I save sand by like doing that? <laughs> Look at <laughs> just a little tiny, tiny uh, wheel slips. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, just give you a little bit of sand. Um, <laughs> I don't know, hopefully we get through this mountain section here quickly. Uh, we've got a plus 0.5, which I think is good. Maybe we can pick up some better speed on that one. Just gonna feed it as much sand as it needs, and it's very unhappy with me. That's not good. We've reached the um, the melting point of the engine. That's not good. I have to give it a break here. We are going to be losing speed too. Hopefully we can keep it long enough for the engine to cool down. This is not going good. This is not going good. I wasn't expecting this. I, have I ever left from a harbor in town? I don't know. I don't know if I have. I feel like I've teleported out of here a lot. So... Uh, maybe I did that for, you know, maybe it was a good thing that I did that those times. Because this is uh, actually a hard route to get back. Uh, anyway, hopefully we make it here. I'm going to kind of just throttle the engine back and forth until we make it out, like off these hills. These hills are killing us right now. As soon as we make it past the hills, we should be good. Where do the hills end? I think they end around here and then they start going downhill, which will really help us out uh in fuel and in engine temp so uh we i'm not even paying attention to speed limit signs right now because we're just going so slow unfortunately <laughs> definitely wish i had a better engine for this right now oh well uh i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to remove the uh power here in a second we're about to overheat once again and uh no downhill in sight i'm hoping it's just around the next corner but i don't know i'm just waiting for the engine to kind of beep at me again i think i have a little bit of the time though i think i it can go into the red for a little bit before it uh it completely shuts off on me so i might just leave it uh if it's close yeah there's the there's the bell Hopefully, right around this corner is all we need. Um, it doesn't really look like it flattens out. Yeah, it's a lot further than I was expecting. I think I am just going to have to kill the power here. Um, don't worry, the, uh, the engine actually killed the power for us. No problem, it shut off on us. So we are now just cruising in a... Uh, completely silent train which is kind of cool i don't think i've done that yet we're just kind of rolling it's a lot quieter that's for sure all right let's see if we can start this back up the engine has cooled off a bit i'm gonna get back on the throttle and yeah like i said just hoping that uh you know a flat section comes up here that's all we can really do right now uh we can enjoy the scenery though too looking beautiful out here heck yeah we got a bunch of uh we got a cargo here the scrap metal looking good nice and rusty exactly how we like our scrap metal um okay this has got to flatten out here soon right let's go ahead and kick it up we got to make it out of here you're fine you're fine you're fine you, you hear some sand all right, we got the engine overheating again. Bring that down a little bit. Uh, we got speed limit zone up ahead. Where are we on the map? I wanted to remember this, especially when we go back for our other load here. Um, oh yeah, we still got a ways to go, I think. Still got a ways to go. Hopefully that other load, though, will be a lot easier with the second engine. 
But anyway, uh, what is that? That is a four, and that still looks like a positive gradient coming up, so that is not the best news. Not what I was hoping for. Alright, you're, you're fine. Don't, don't slip. Okay, it went away. Cool. Cool. Uh, we're gaining some speed here. What is that? That's a plus 1.2. That is not good. Uh, yeah, that engine is definitely probably going to overheat again. But, uh, hey, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're about to deliver this load here. And it's, uh, it's going to be cool. I say we're about to deliver it, but we're actually, like, I don't even think we're halfway yet. As long as we don't derail, I guess. Anything can happen but that. I really can't afford that right now. But yeah, I'm going to lay off the throttle for a little bit. We're going to coast around this corner. And uh, fingers crossed that a flat section is coming up here soon to where I can just really let the engine cool off. And uh, is this it? Is this the flat section I wanted? That's a positive. No, nope, both positive gradients. Well, unfortunate. Well, this is dropping now, so that's good. I think I can just chill for like maybe another 30 seconds and then get back on it and we should be fine. We got a 1.1 coming up. We are slowing down pretty quickly here so I probably want to get back on that soon. Go ahead and give it some power now. And now we are making our way through the tunnel. I love these tunnels. I love the cutouts here. Pretty awesome. Wish we had some lights. That'd be really cool. Flip on the cabin lights. Maybe see a little bit better. Honestly, we can see pretty great, but you know, it'd be kind of cool. I expected that to be louder in here, but I guess that's not really a thing in the game. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Uh, we are now rolling through here um, we got some more junctions coming up, but I'm not really worried about those. I don't think I've ever taken those other paths, so they all should be set for us. And, uh, yeah, I forgot to check the time on this job. 33 minutes. We might just make it. I don't know. It's a possibility. Look at that! Flat zone! We're in a flat zone. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get us some speed here. Maybe we can make up some lost time. Go ahead and kick that up a notch. Uh, without slipping the wheels. Without slipping the wheels, please. There we go. Alright. That's good. We are cruising at a better speed now. Where are we at on the map? I'd say we're about halfway through the journey because uh, I think the rest of this should be easier should be. Uh, the engine's still yelling at us, but I'm going to leave it for a little bit. And now I'll give it a break. Perfect. Alright, so we're cruising. Luckily we're flat, so we're not losing that much speed. And we're definitely giving the engine a much needed break. That is for sure. Uh, we're probably going to be going downhill here soon as well, which will definitely give it a massive break. I think we're over the hump. Yeah, it's right where I was saying it was, too. It's, I guess it's like back here. Once you get through that junction, it flattens out. So that is good. Very, very good. Um, I don't know. Going back for that is going to be tough. Can you cancel missions? I would almost pay to cancel that one. <laughs> Uh, definitely not going to get the time bonus on it. That is for sure. And, um... I don't know. We will figure it out later, I suppose. I think... I think the worst is behind us now. Well, at least for this cargo load. Um, maybe the worst of it is is actually behind us back at the, the, the place. Because I'm definitely going to need two engines for that one. Which is going to be... Interesting. Um, I thought it was going to be good for this, but, you know, I guess this whole load needed three engines, and uh, I'm not really capable of controlling three engines. I don't think. I guess I could just jump between the three. That would be, that'd be something. But anyway, hopefully we can make some money back on these, uh, these trips here. Hopefully we don't have any derailments. That would be very bad.
trains have windshield wipers? I feel like this window needs a cleaning. It's got some dirts on it. Well, I'm gonna chill outside for a little bit. You know, just take a little break. How awesome would that be? Just kind of hanging out. We got an eight coming up. Not really worried about the speed. We're cruising. I don't even think this thing could make it up to eight unless the whole trip was like downhill. All right, our engine has had a break. So we're, we're kind of good here. That is excellent. Um, check out the map. We've got those two forks ahead that I gotta watch out for. And, uh, yeah, right now we're just kind of chilling. This is nice. Nice and relaxing. It's a pretty relaxing game, especially when you're, like, you know, out on the railroad. Just cruising, not having to worry about anything, especially in the higher speed zones. Like I, don't, I like I said, I can't even hit those uh, the speed limits. So we're we are literally just chilling here, hanging out. Hopefully, um, we're gonna get this done in time. So, being that we set it all up beforehand, I'm assuming that we're gonna be able to get the time bonus at least for the steel mill. Uh, definitely not gonna get it on that one. But at least we can get the cash, the straight up cash for that, which I think it was like 16 grand. So that'll just be a bonus. And uh, from there, you guys are going to let me know what I should do next. I've been reading all of the comments and I've been getting a lot of suggestions of what I should do. So definitely let me know down in the comments below what licenses you think I should get, what items, what, what, what I should do next in the game. Just let me know. Uh, but anyway, we are cruising here. Steel mill is just around the corner. Literally, we just got to make it all the way around. And uh, we should be looking pretty good. We will run in, cash that uh, that mission in, hopefully getting the time bonus. And then uh, we're just going to leisurely go out and get the, the cargo we left behind. Uh, we've, we've got nothing to race for on that one. So we're just going to chill and uh, carefully take it all the way over to Goods and Factory. Hopefully get there and drop it off with no problems whatsoever and uh, make that extra cash. That's the plan. I'd say it's a pretty solid one. But anyway, I'm going to go enjoy it more of the countryside here. Hanging out. I don't think we, uh, we drop speed soon. Or it might be coming up soon, but at least not yet. Oh, maybe, maybe it is. No, we're fine. That's a six. We're good. We're chilling. Looking good. As long as it doesn't go downhill. That's interesting. I wonder what the map looks like from up there. I might have to check it out sometime. Could you imagine if teleporting was instant and like you just aimed out there and like accidentally hit F and then you were there and you were like, uh, <laughs> need to like find the train again? That'd be crazy. Anyway, still on flat ground. We've got an eight speed limit. That's looking nice. I'm gonna sound the horn just cause I can. Yeah. Uh, we got this corner coming up. What's the speed limit on that? We got a six. Yeah, we're still good. Still chilling. I love looking back at the cargo too, that's awesome. Especially when it's like a lower load like this and you can actually see all the cars. It's pretty cool. Getting smacked with trees once again. We definitely have some broken windows right now. Uh, let's see, we got a little bit left to go. Steel mill is literally around this corner. Nice. I think that's the farm, right? Farm is cool. I definitely want to transport some tractors here at some point. Yeah, that's definitely the farm. The tractors definitely seem pretty awesome. That and the excavators. Excavators are cool. Oh man, I also want to do cars. I'm assuming that's machine factory in town. Oh, maybe city. Possibly city. I wonder, do they transport like buses and stuff in real life on trains? That'd be kind of cool. Like if you deliver just a whole load of buses to the city. Um, here we go. That's an eight. 
looking pretty good. Um, I need to watch out for this switch though. I don't, I don't know if I took it, but I just need to make sure it's set right. So uh, I'm gonna be looking out for that. It's gonna be right around the corner here somewhere. At least it should be. I mean, this is a longer corner than I expected. Uh, okay, so there's a six. Let's check our speed limit real quick, just to make sure. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely gonna. Definitely gonna slow down a little bit. I mean, we're not going too much over, but uh, we're going a lot over now. All right, all right, this is fine. This is fine. I don't think we're gonna derail going five over. So that's good. There's the switch I was looking for. Um, this corner should slow us down a little bit. And uh, I think we just passed an eight. Oh, that's a five. Yeah, let's give it a little more break. All right, no more independent. Should have done this from the start. That's fine. That should be good. Just gave it a little bit of break. And we are now rolling to the steel mill, which I should be looking at the job. Oh, what am I doing? Where do I need to drop this off? B3I. All right, you know what? Oh no. Well, I'm gonna overshoot this probably. Where's B3I? B3I is right here. So let's get this flipped. And we will, that's good. What about this one? Not good. Get that. And we need to make sure this is fine. It is, all right. That's good. Hopefully we can keep our time bonus on that one. I really should have ran ahead for that. Unfortunate, but it's fine. Just gonna wait for the train to uh, to go here. All right, looks like we're picking up a little bit of speed. That's good. Got some rolls of steel over there. That's kind of cool. Some cars. That might be a forklift. That'd be really cool if you could actually use the train to load and unload. But did I say train? I meant crane. I don't know what I said. But yeah, it'd be really cool if you could use the crane to like offload and load up stuff. That'd be interesting. Maybe on like a hardcore mode. Or maybe the simulator. Oh, that'd be sick. Anyway, uh, B3 inbound. We're about to be headed down this line here. In a little bit of wheel slip, but I'm just gonna allow it. Doesn't sound like it's too much. And I think we can coast here. We're gonna coast. I'm gonna hit the brakes. Possibly slam them. Yeah. Sounds about right. Let's go ahead and hit the brakes here. I'm just gonna leave that as is, and I'm gonna go try to turn this mission in. Uh, I picked the wrong one. In progress. Oh, they're moving. Uh, garbage. There we go. Complete. 28 minutes. What did we get for that? We got $13,000. That is not half bad. Uh, so we'll go ahead and insert that into our wallet. At least it's more than we started with. That's good. As long as we're gaining money on these trips, I'm happy. Uh, let's go shut down this engine. And now we're going to have to go get that load. Oh, man, this is going to be rough. All right, let's shut this down so we don't have to pay any more fees on it. Let's get everything from it. Here's my map. And I think I'm going to teleport back to our mission that's way out in Harbor and Town. Um, unfortunate that that's still going, but we got to get it done. So here we go. All right, here we are. I'm going to try to get this set up so that we can actually do the mission. Uh, I think I'm just going to back all the way up uh, to... <laughs> I'm just going to back all the way up to the train yard real quick, and then we will get a second engine on the front side. 
All right, here we go. We are coming up on the train yard. I need to quickly get out my comms radio and get that flipped over. Perfect. I definitely don't need to be cruising this fast here. I can definitely chill for a while. And I'm going to go grab a second engine. Oh, wait, if there is one. No, all the engines respawn. Please tell me there's like a small one in between there. Please. I said please. Oh man. Okay. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to go grab this over here. And it is gonna be... Oh, it's... if the train can fit in between these two points, it'll be great. If it can't, this is gonna be interesting. All right, well. I guess I'll hit the brakes here sh shortly. That's too much. A little too soon on that. I want to stop the train like right here. Let's see if I'm going to have enough room for this. Yeah, definitely not. It's going to overshoot. All right. Anyway, I'm going to get this hooked up. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to pull this forward. I'm going to bring it over here, down this line, and then I'm going to bring it back over there. And I might need to move this train that way in order for me to get it into the front. And then we should be good to go. All right, so we are almost hooked back up here. Uh, the train is moving in, and I'm going to link it up. I'm not really sure how... Well, I have the remote. I guess I'm just going to control the back car with the remote once again. Uh, but I guess I'll turn off the remote in order to save power and rather than making you guys watch the whole trip the same trip twice I think I'm gonna speed it up and we're gonna pick up as soon as we get to the steel mill with the second load I think that makes the most sense. But anyway right now. I'm gonna hook this up Just like so uh, I'm gonna go to the back link it up to the remote uh, Jump in here. Let's go ahead and pull out the locomotive remote uh, turn it on and pair with this one back here and now we can jump up to the front one place that down in a manageable position go ahead and give it some power and then I will go ahead and give this power as well and uh, turn off the brakes of course uh, looks like the brakes are on there too so I'll go ahead and turn that off and uh, we're moving Hopefully nothing goes wrong here. Uh, we are getting some wheel slip on the back. Um, I need to figure out the controls for this. So can I... Ooh, the battery is dying. I'm just going to leave the back engine pushing the whole time. And hopefully I can control everything from up here. But anyway... Hopefully we have no problems. I'm going to go ahead and throw my map down once again. There we go. Go ahead and put it there. And I think we're just going to skip until we get all the way to the steel mill. Hopefully with no problems. We'll pick it back up on the way to Goods and Factory Town. All right. Um, actually, so my battery is dying on this remote, which is unfortunate. I think I need to run back there and uh, do something like that. You know, this load might be too heavy, even for two. Uh, as I'm not going anywhere right now. I might need to abandon this load. Unfortunately. I thought we could do it. Here, let's throw that out. I don't need that anymore. Uh, I do need this job, though. Yeah, 432 tons, and I've got two locomotives on it right now. Am I derailed somewhere? Is that what's happening? Let's go check all of the uh, the rail cars here. That looks clean. That looks good. Also looks good. I've had this problem before, and it was because of a derailment that I didn't notice. So I'm wondering if that's the same case here. That looks to be on the track. That's on the track as well. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's happening here. It's gotta be the weight. 
don't know why it's ha it's struggling right now though because we did we went all the way over there with no problem last time so this is interesting i mean look at that they're both chugging away and absolutely nothing is happening like look at this we're going so slow I can kick it up and turn on the sand, but I don't think that's going to help. Um, or I could just turn the brakes off. That would be genius. Like a genius idea to just make sure no brakes are on. And then like the whole train could like go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well. I'm going to go ahead and bring down the back here. We're going to jump up front as well. Could you imagine if you actually did this, jump to train to train? Oh my gosh. Anyway. Well, this uh, engine is overheating already. That's not a good sign. Um, while we're still in the yard, I'm going to coast. We're going at a nice 25 speed here. All right, so the journey continues. And uh, like I said, I will pick up as soon as we get to the steel mill. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I, I might I might leave this in because this could be an interesting trip too. Because um, I do need to run. I feel like I need to go back to the back and make sure that engine is going to be fine. Uh, so let's do that now. Jump in here, make sure the engine is good. It is slightly overheating. Go ahead and turn that down a little bit and try to make our way back to the front car here. Front engine, I should say. And uh, hopefully we can do this hill. We got a ton of sand in this one, so I am gonna make use of that. I know we got a long way to go before we get out of the woods here. Like I said, it's all the way up here. So hopefully I can manage both engine temps. I'm trying to get up this. Go ahead and bring that back down. So the fans are on on both engines. Uh, this one's doing okay. Still hasn't got to the yellow yet. So I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. I guess I'll just jump back and forth like I have been doing just to make sure we're fine. Okay, the engines are basically at the same-ish temp. And we're choking away here. All right, I gotta make sure we don't lose our back engine here. Uh, Cause if we die on the hill, there it goes. This is buzzing. Um, if we die, it, if it dies on the hill, we're kind of screwed. I'm not gonna be able to get back up and go again. So, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do this. Let's jump back up to the front car real quick. I might be able to go into the red a little bit How far do we have to go? I don't even think we're halfway through the hill section here. Although we have a lighter hill up ahead. Now this engine is having some trouble. Um, I guess I'll give him a little break if I can. As soon as our speed slows down too much though, I'm gonna have to kick the engines back on. Our speed is dropping like a stone here. We are really heavy, but the engines do need a break. Okay, the two engines are now pulling. Uh, the engine temps are down a bit. I think I could raise this one up a little bit because I had a bit more of a break. And our speed is climbing back up. I think we'll make it.
All right, so we finally made it to the flat spot, which I can definitely give the engines a break here. Uh, I'm going to kick this one up a notch just so I can increase the speed. Uh, it's going to wheel slip for a second, but I think it should get traction here in a minute. And I'm going to turn this engine off. And let's go back up to the front, and as soon as we get up to speed, I'm actually going to give the front engine a break as well. Alright, so we are just outside of the steel mill now. Uh, I'm lowering my speed a little bit just because we're coming in a little hot. Uh, I think I can take it off now. And it is dropping down to a 5, which uh, we're going a little fast for. Might give it a little more break here. Just a little bit. There we go, not too bad. And uh, there it is. There is the steel mill. Um, I'm pretty sure all the switches are not set because we came through here before and I need to grab that really fast. Uh, I think I'm good. There we go. Now we're going to roll straight through. Uh, so there is the cargo that I dropped off earlier and we are just outside of Goods and Factory. We got a little bit of a stretch to go, um, but we've just been cruising for a while which is pretty cool, pretty relaxing. I've just been sitting here watching the train, listening to the sounds, um, but I can kick the engine back in, I think. Uh, we've definitely given it a bit of a break. There's the engine that we came in on, and uh, perfect. Um, so yeah, I probably could have done three engines and made it work, because uh, really I just needed to get up that hill over there and then uh, don't really need it after that, unless we're going up hills again over here, which I can't remember. But that's probably what I should have done. Um, anyway, you live and you learn, and here we go. We are making our way out to drop this off. Definitely not getting the time bonus, but I could still use the 16 grand, which would be amazing. So we're going to Goods and Factory Town uh, en route to that. Let's find out where I need to drop this off at. Uh, we need to do D6 inbound, which I can't really remember where that is, so I'm just going to take a look at the map. Um, do I need to do anything here? No, we're good. Um, goods and factory. What am I looking for? Oh, the GF. There we go. Oh, going the wrong way. Alright, here is GF. Let's get the overview, and it's just that back line there. So once again, I'm going to swoop through through the middle and then back it on in into the D section. So not too bad. I think it said six inbound. Uh, I guess I should be prepared for what that is. That's going to be on the left hand side when we pull in. Actually, that's the northeast. It's probably going to be on the right side. Either way, we'll figure it out when we get there. Looking good. Our speed's actually picking up pretty heavily here. I'm not really sure what the speed limit is. Um... I guess this this looks like kind of a rough curve. I really hope I don't derail here. Uh, it is an eight. It's an eight. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. All right. Well, anyway, we're cruising. Almost there. Uh, almost to the halfway point. 
we just got a bit of a stretch to go. I Yeah, I guess the, the speed just increases here. We got a nice, lovely bridge here. I love the bridges in this game. They look so beautiful. Uh, with our train right behind. And uh, yeah, we're just chilling on the way to Goods and Factory. Almost there. Check out my fuel. My fuel is looking good. My sand's looking good. Engine temp is definitely good. The back engine is off right now, so that's totally going to be good as well. And uh, I'd say the halfway point is right about here. So we've almost made it. We probably have a little bit of a slowdown for these turns. I've done them like a hundred times, so I should know at this point, but I kind of forgot. So um, I'm probably just going to chill here for a little bit. Make sure everything is good. Uh, our speed is right now at a good 55. I'm probably going to go back up top here. I love this view. Just uh, over watching the train here. And if I see any uh, signs that drop down in speed, I'll probably just jump back into the cab and uh, apply some brakes. But until then, uh, I'm just going to chill here again because this has been pretty cool. Uh, definitely a different view than I'm used to doing. So I'll probably finish out the episode right up here because it's nice. So I'm thinking this is going to have to be one of my longest episodes. Um, or at least the longest I've actually played Derail Valley in a session. Because um, we made uh, quite a big mistake there. But it worked out okay in the end. And uh, at least we'll still be positive on our cash. So that's a good thing. And like I said before, let me know down in the comments below what you want to see next. What I should do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people have been mentioning manual servicing, which I do want, but it's just going to save me money. I mean, that is a great thing, but I feel like I need to save up for two licenses so I can just pick up manual servicing and then something else that's cool. Like ha hazmat would be really cool. I've been looking at that one. Uh, I don't know how expensive it is, but um, hauling dangerous cargo would definitely be interesting. That's for sure. And uh, I'd like to do some more long license stuff as well as I am I definitely need another train. Uh, we've done the same engine here for like the longest time and I'm ready for something new. I'm a little worried about the steam engine though, uh, just as far as how pricey it is and the tools that I may need for it. And uh, I don't know how to run it at all. So that, that would be interesting. Um, I also want to try out that that other engine that's in the game too, the DE6, sounds like it would be fun. Could definitely handle these uh, larger loads that we've been doing, probably with ease, but that is gonna be saving up a lot of money for that. So that might be pretty far out as well. Uh, we got a six speed coming up, I'm a little worried about it. And I shouldn't be because we're not even going anywhere near. Let's make sure our switches are correct on this one. I might have come through here a different way. So I'm going to get my comms radio out just in case. And uh, it is looking like it is the correct direction. So that's good. I'm just going to hop back up here once again. And uh, watch over my train here because I'm starting to love this view. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what I should be doing next what you think I should be doing next. Anyway, we are just outside of Goods and Factory here, uh, which is good. Uh, I think we're going five, so we shouldn't have any trouble on this um, this curve here. And yeah, this has actually been a relaxing trip. We're not, we're not doing the time bonus on this one, obviously. Uh, oh, we have a hill here. I should be prepared for that, right? I forgot about this. So I think the hill like jumps up right there, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and kick this one up and I'm going to run to the back and turn this back engine on just so we don't stop out or stall out on this hill. Uh, so let's go ahead. I think the engine is still on. Yeah, there we go. We're going to kick the back engine in for a little bit. Uh, we got a seven speed. I don't think we're going anywhere near there. We are falling though. So I think it's a good thing I came back here just in case. I'll kick this up because I really don't want to sell out. This is a pretty big hill. We're actually going slower here. Look at that. We're still falling. Hopefully we can make it through here. I'm going to go back up to this point. I'm not slipping over here, am I? No. We have an eight, but yeah, we're still climbing up. I think, I think we might be able to do it. 
I'm not too worried about it, but uh, I have stalled out on that hill before, so I definitely don't want to don't want to do that again. Anyway, um, I forgot to check the map. Are we here? We're basically here, right? Yeah. So as soon as we find a sign, I am going to turn off that back engine, but look how slow we're going now. Oh no. Ah, we should be fine. We're not going that slow, but as long as we don't stall out, we'll be good. I got like a thing right there. I didn't even notice. Kind of threw that down and it made its way out of the cabin. But anyway, um, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to slow down just before, so I need to be ready to jump back there and turn that engine off as well. And we are just slow, steady climbing this hill right now. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it levels out here soon. I can't remember if it does or not. I mean, obviously it does at the station, but hopefully it does before that. Because uh, I definitely forgot about this hill over here. Yeah, it really would have been cool to run three engines, too, now that I think about it. Maybe we'll do that again in the future and just make sure we have enough power to do it. Because <laughs> uh, that would be great. I mean, two engines isn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, I need to make sure this switch is right. Where are we going here? We're going... Oh, we're here. So I'm just going to go back and turn this engine off. Oh, this one's just chugging along. All right, let's go back up to the front. I think we're going to make it through this hill. So we shouldn't have to worry about it. Unless we start slowing down massively. Which we're not. we still got a little bit of speed here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're going to make it. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, but this is it. Here is Goods and Factory. Now, I think I'm just going to put this away. And uh, run over to the station. And turn this in. Got a five speed limit here, but we're going well under that. We're actually just kind of coasting in here. So it should be flattening out like right about now. Yeah. So we should actually pick up some speed here. I need to get this flipped over here. I think it's this one. There we go. And that'll put us through the center, which we can then back into the, uh, the D yard over there. All right, actually, while this is chugging along, I'm gonna go over here and get everything set up. So the train's gonna come through here. Uh, whoa, where am I? Okay. It's gonna come through there, and then we need to find D6 inbound. Uh, I'm assuming it's not that way, so I'm just gonna hit this on the way in. Where is D, yeah, D6 inbound right here. So this needs to be set over, it is, that's good. How do you make sure this switch is correct? It is not. Get that flipped over. And what about this one? That one's good. Excellent. This one is not. All right, there we go. What about this? That's good. And then finally, that one will be good. All right. So I'll go ahead and hop on the train here. The brakes need to be applied soon, just after I get past this. And uh, I should be able to use just the one engine to back in there. So I'm not too worried about that. But I do need a break here soon. I'm just going to wait till the uh, the engine there gets past this switch. In fact, I think I can coast now. Probably. Definitely. Alright, so we're coasting. Oh man, I'm not actually going to be able to see it. I'm just going to have to guess. I guess I'll just stop, like, right up here. Uh, hopefully I'm not doing this too early, but I'm going to go ahead and start applying the brakes. And I'm going to go check out my back end. Yeah, we definitely made it. Alright. I'm going to get this ready to back up. There, the brakes are off. It should make its way down here soon. Let's get this flipped over so we're good. Excellent. And uh, I should be able to use this to help me out too. Let's go ahead and put that in reverse. All right, now we're really moving. 
We got two engines working together, which is awesome. Uh, I should definitely keep them together. It's really hard to go to both ends of the train. That's another thing I should have done. I should have put both engines up front, even though I can't uh, connect them up because I don't have the license for it. Uh, but it would have been really nice to, uh, to just be able to jump back and forth with them right next to each other. Anyway, this is working out pretty good. Um, in a second here, I will probably up there. I will put it to coast and then we will get ready on the brake. Actually, I think I can just coast this one now since we're up and moving. Actually, I should be coasting this one. Let's go ahead and coast that and turn this engine off. And now we can go use the other one. All right, so we're now making our way to the D6 uh, inbound. And I definitely need to wait to the, you know what? I should have been braking at that one. <laughs> I did this wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna give this a little bit more gas just to make sure we make it. I'm sure we will. I mean, this is super heavy and we're gonna coast for a while. So you know what, we'll do that. Now we'll turn this engine off and then we'll go to this one so that way we know when the train makes it in. I don't know if I need to turn the engine on for this, but I will anyway. Um, there we go. Engine has started, so as soon as we make it onto this line, which will be in a couple cars here, I will apply the brake and we'll go turn this mission in. There we go. I think it's safe to say we made it. Let's go ahead and turn that engine off. And let's run over to the station. There it is. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Alright, here we are. We'll go ahead and give this to the job validator. There it is, mission complete. We did it in 83 minutes. Wow, that was uh, that was pretty bad. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, let's check out my wallet before we sign off here. Let's see the wallet. We have $53,000. I think that's the most we've had uh, ever. So I need to keep stacking this up, I think. And I think I'm possibly gonna buy multiple licenses at once. I'm not really sure yet. Let me know down in the comments below what you think I should do. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked today's episode, smash that like button. If you want to see more episodes like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.